Hi, I'm Steve. Brew house efficiency lies at the heart of every beer you make. Accurately measuring your efficiency will allow you to hone in on your techniques and to formulate better recipes. Specific gravity is commonly used by brewers as a way to measure the dissolved sugar in the wort. However, it's important to remember that specific gravity is not just a measure of dissolved sugar, but a measure of density. The more sugar dissolved in water, the more dense it will be. There are other factors that play into density that can't be ignored. Hot water is less dense than cold water. Within 10 degrees of room temperature, there's only about one gravity point of change in density. So temperature can be neglected if the sample has been allowed to come to room temperature. However, if you're measuring the wort just after you sparge, the temperature is going to be near 170 degrees. That's about 100 degrees above room temperature. You could simply compensate for the temperature using a chart or a calculator, although I don't recommend that. There's a couple things working against you here. First, sugar does not expand as much as water with respect to temperature. A typical wort at 45 gravity points, or 11 degrees Plato, is composed of one pound of sugar and one gallon of water. That's nearly 15% sugar. So even when compensating for temperature, the more sugar you have in solution, the more erroneously high your reading is going to be. Secondly, the sample of wort with its large surface area will be changing rapidly as it cools to ambient temperature. Because the temperature is changing, there are likely to be gradients of temperature as well. It's also important that you calibrate your hydrometer. This can be done fairly simple with a sample of water at room temperature. Without anything in solution, the specific gravity should read 1.000. If it doesn't, tap or jar the hydrometer lightly to move the paper inside. I was surprised to learn how little force it takes to move the paper. Rough handling of the hydrometer, even dropping it back in the tube, can knock it out of calibration. When measuring specific gravity, using a consistent reading method is more important than the way you choose to read the hydrometer. Most people will read the hydrometer from the top, looking at the bottom of the meniscus. Others will read it looking through the sample at the bottom. And yet others will look directly at it from the side. Brew house efficiency accounts for all the losses from converting the starches into sugar, sampling, spillage, and other process loss, all the way to pitching the yeast. There are a couple of common pitfalls when it comes to measuring efficiency. First, an inaccurate measurement of gravity as mentioned before. The second most common that I've seen is not accounting for the drop in volume due to grain absorption and boil off. During recipe formulation, initial gravity is calculated based on the potential gravity of the grains and the volume of water. If your post-boil volume of water is lower than is used in the recipe formulation, then the initial gravity reading will be higher, resulting in an inaccurately high calculation of efficiency. We've hit some important points with regards to brew house efficiency. One, specific gravity is a measure of density, not just dissolved sugar. Two, calibrate your hydrometer. And three, brew house efficiency is dependent on accurate measurement of the volume of wort. Well, thanks for staying with me. <clears throat> The way I see it, a little learning makes a lot better beer. Cheers.